Guys, we have another TTM video today. TTM, as most of you know, is through the mail, through the mail autograph seeking. You write a letter to your favorite athlete or celebrity, asking them for an autograph. You enclose the item that you want autographed and a self-addressed stamped envelope, and then wait to see what kind of response you get. Today, we have four responses, and we're going to get right into it right now. So let's go. First response is from... Kansas City, Missouri, a great ball player in the 80s and 90s, Joe Carter. Got this back in 10 days. Uh, there is a fee. Joe Carter charges $5 per autograph. I put the $5 in there with the card. He signed it in blue Sharpie. Beautiful signature. Very legible. Uh, Joe played from the mid-80s to the late 90s with the Cubs and Indians and Blue Jays, among some other teams. Uh, had a very, very good career, about 2,200 hits, lifetime. Um, this is about midway through his career. You notice here he hit 35 home runs and um, 105 RBIs. Real good season here in 89 for the, uh, for the Indians. But he ended up hitting, right here he has 151 home runs. He ended up doubling that plus some. Ended up hitting 396 and about 1,500 RBIs. Five-time All-Star. Real good, real good, solid player. He may end up in the Hall of Fame someday. You never know. As, as I always say, and prone to say now, especially, if Harold Baines can make it, anybody can make it. And Joe Carter deserves to make it as much as uh, Harold Baines. He was a five-time All-Star. He won two World Series. His most famous World Series um, performance was probably, it had to be in 1993 when he hit a walk-off home run in Game 6 uh, to win the World Series for the Blue Jays. It was the second walk-off home run in World Series history after Bill Mazeroski's uh, walk-off home run in 1960 to win it for the Pirates over the Yankees. Um, Mazeroski's remains the only Game 7 walk-off World Series home run. Carter hit that in game six off the wild thing, uh, Mitch Williams of the Phillies. Number two, and I wanted to get this thing to, um, to air right away. This thing, as you can see, $4.81 from Major League Baseball, and I've seen a lot of people posting these returns, but this is almost too good to be true, guys. For the cost of a 55 cent stamp and a letter asking <laughs> for a ball from the Major League Commissioner, Rob Manfred Jr., you can get an autographed baseball from Rob Manfred Jr., Major League Commissioner. This is an official Major League ball, and that's his signature right there. I got this back in 12 days. There's no fee for this. As I said, you just send a letter requesting an autographed ball, and 12 days later, I received this in the mail. $4.81 in postage, a $17 ball or whatever retails for. I'm sure Major League Baseball gets them a lot more cheaper than that, but still, um, how much is this envelope? 50 cents at least for the envelope, and I paid two cents for my envelope and a 55-cent stamp asking for a ball. Pretty, pretty spectacular, I'd say. I saw a lot of people posting this because it kind of went viral a few weeks ago. People posted this, and it was almost too good to be true. What do you have to lose? 55-cent stamps. So I sent it out, and 12 days later, got the ball. Very happy to get that. The third return today is uh, was received by my good buddy Jay Cannon Tech. Um, Jay Cannon Tech doesn't collect uh, sports memorabilia, but he does do – uh, video reviews and um, of technical stuff that's way above my head. He does. He did the Oculus um, virtual reality uh, headset. He's done some other technical uh, videos, some reviews, and some um, unboxing videos. I'll post a link to his site uh, down below. He only has about 21 subscribers, so I urge you to go subscribe to him. Um, build his numbers just like we want our numbers built. Uh, these tech guys want their numbers built too. I'll post his link down below. Make sure you go visit him and sub him if you, if you can. Third return today is former pirate pitcher. It's an eight by 10. 
get my easel out there. Former pirate pitcher, Don Robinson. Don Robinson played for the Pirates from, oh, I don't know, 77 to 83 or so and played in the major leagues until 1992 when he finally retired. But he grew up and played baseball, played high school ball, about an hour from where I'm sitting right now. His high school was called Sarita Canova High School. Uh, it's just on the other side of Huntington, West Virginia. If you've ever been through Huntington or Charleston, I'm in Charleston. Um, Canova is very near Huntington. He was an excellent athlete in high school. He was All-State in both baseball and football and drafted uh, right out of high school by the Pirates. And then just two years after that, maybe three years, as a 21-year-old rookie, he went 14-6 and six and was named National League Rookie Pitcher of the Year in 1978, and then in 79, as a 22-year-old, he was pitching the World Series and did very well in the World Series. Won a ring there with the Pirates uh, in 79, and also pitched in the 89 World Series with the Giants. Um, ended up retiring in 1992, had a good solid career, won 110 games as a pitcher. He was a great hitter as well. Again, just a great athlete in, in high school. And uh, I think he won like two or three Silver Slugger awards as a pitcher with his hitting prowess. So um, that's Don Robinson. I got that back in seven days, and there's no fee. Uh, Don Robinson's 62 years old, and I think I may have mentioned that Joe Carter is um, 59 years old. So the fourth return, very excited about, comes from Lubbock, Texas. Who could be in Lubbock, you ask? Well, I don't just subscribe, uh, um, collect just baseball memorabilia or just football memorabilia. I'm an all sports uh, collector. And this return is fabulous. 1981 Sports Illustrated signed to Michael, best wishes, Bobby Knight. He signed it Bob Knight. That is spectacular. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Bobby Knight needs really no description, no introduction. <laughs> I got that back in eight days. Uh, Bobby Knight's 78 years old. But when he retired from college basketball, he was the winningest coach in history. He had 902 wins, which was the most all time. I think he's third now, maybe, to uh, Coach K at Duke and maybe Jimmy Beheim passed him, I think, from Syracuse. But um, as a player, he was a really good college player as well. He played on that 1960 NCAA championship team at Ohio State, which was really one of the best college teams of all time, had the best, maybe the best NCAA player of all time, uh, Jerry Lucas, and had another guy you may have heard of, John Havlicek, was on that team. He just passed away recently, RIP to John Havlicek. But both those guys were on the Ohio State team in 1960, the ones on the NCAA championship. Then Coach Knight went to Army, and then he began coaching at Indiana. He won three NCAA titles there. Uh, that 1976 team that he coached was undefeated and uh, is kind of the team that all other teams are compared to now. Uh, was coach of the year four times. Um, and again, he was the winningest coach in history when he retired and then he became a broadcaster, and I think he's now retired from that. And he's living in Lubbock, Texas, and I got that back in eight days. So there we are. We have a return from baseball star Joe Carter, baseball commissioner Rob Manfred, local star legend, high school legend, and baseball star Don Robinson, and NCAA basketball coaching legend Bobby Knight. Guys, that's four returns this week. Very happy. Thank you for watching. Remember to go sub J Cannon Tech. I'll have his link below. I also have my email down below. If you want any information I can help you with with, with regard to through the mail autograph seeking, I'll be glad to help. I'll be glad to give you these guys addresses. Um, I know Coach Knight has changed here in the last uh, six months or so. Be glad to help you there. And uh, remember to like this video, comment down below. I always read your comments and we'll respond. 
as soon as I possibly can, click the subscribe button and make sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of all my future videos. Guys, again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it very much, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.